Top secret. Okay, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, I'm working on making new demos for the uh, Mad Tag, our 2.9 inch e-ink display. And one of the first projects I like to build is a clock. So on this really beautiful e-paper display, you can um, have really gorgeous fonts in CircuitPython. And here it's showing the time in 24 hour mode. And uh, because it's battery powered, um, it'll actually uh, refresh the time in just a few seconds. And then behind it is all the code. Um, I'm writing this all in CircuitPython. It's only about 42 lines of code, which is pretty sweet. You um, can pick any font you like. Thank you for telling me it's now 2110. And uh, here's the code. We uh, connect to the network to get um, the time over Wi-Fi. This is the font I'm using. And then uh, once an hour, I resynchronize the time online. Otherwise, I just display the time in either 12 or 24 hour mode. That's it. Magtag. Kelly, okay, what is this? Hey, I'm writing more demos for the Magtag, our 2.9 inch uh, e-ink display with the ESP32 S2. It's Wi-Fi, which means it can do cheer lights. So when I tweet at cheer lights, my favorite color is blue. What happens is now the Wi-Fi module here is going to connect to um, the ThingSpeak IoT channel where the cheer lights data is like saved and updated. And then the IoT channel, you see it read that I tweeted at it asking for blue. And then let's see, let's do at cheer lights red. And in a few seconds, this will get that new update. It checks only every five seconds. Um, I just don't want to update the screen too often in case like people are really blasting it. You flipped it to red. Yay! So very cheery, a great holiday project. Hey, I've got this Wii nunchuck here. This is kind of an old school controller for Wiis that has accelerometer and um, joystick and some buttons. And you see here I've got it plotting um, motion on um, the Arduino plotter, so I'm testing out some new hardware. It's kind of based on old hardware, but it's a little Stemma QT adapter. And um, the adapter actually just has a PCB that um, the Wii Chuck plugs into. It's a cute little hack. It just slides into the connector. And then this is level shifted I squared C, and that just goes into a Metro Mini. But we also have Circuit Python and Python code available. So you can take out those old Wii nunchucks and use them to control, say, your robotics. All right, and now it's top secret.